Hola YouTubers, habla Lani Clark and uh, I wanted to rant a little bit with you about Helen Caldecott's seminar and some of the things that are coming up this commemoration of the fourth year. Can I don't know how you guys feel but I am like off the charts dumbfounded. Four years, we're going on four years of nuclear meltdowns that have been 100% ignored. And now the first lady of the United States is going to Japan to show us all that things are normal. It's, it's as if the, even the leaders of our country have given up wanting to live. I don't get it. Or maybe they completely buy the bullshit and don't even think about the science. Like, what was that doctor's name? Chuck from Oregon Physicians for Responsibility saying, Oh, ho, ho, don't worry about the Pacific Ocean. It's fine. That's a doctor. And next week we have the Environmental Law Conference going on here in Eugene, Oregon. They're not talking about Fukushima. Zero. Not even a little bit. Well, I'm actually going to take my little protest signs and go protest around the university. They won't let me on the university probably, but I'm going to protest because that's outrageous. And, um, you know, I, I haven't been able to listen to Helen Caldecott's entire seminar, mostly because I haven't had the time. Like, I was trying to listen to a podcast. People kept calling me um, all day long. Like, I even had somebody call me at what, 7.30 on Saturday night asking me if they could drop off their taxes. Like, no, don't call your tax preparers at 7.30 at night on a Saturday night. Like, they're not tax slaves. So I guess that's my little two bits about that. But it's a fucking thing with the Fukushima, man. They, this book that we're reading lets us know exactly how much the military hates humanity. I mean, we already know it. They're a war machine. They believe in killing. But this, this is killing our future children. The fucking nuclear is killing the future of our children. Seriously, like, uh, have, has the whole world just given up on being alive? I mean, the... You know what Thaston said to me last night? Because we were talking, you know, Thaston is from Our Islands Conservation Center here in Eugene. He's a Marshallese kid who came here when he was five years old. His parents had to work. He came here with his grandparents and lived in Seattle all of his life. He said, you know what, Lonnie? People don't want to talk about radiation. They want to talk about the Pacific Islanders. They like to talk about the tradition, the food. They'll talk about... He can get gigs showing people how to weave. You start talking about the jelly bean babies and the radiation, the deformities that are still going on, the ears plug up. What is it with the cowards? I am just like nonplussed. I, honest to God, don't fucking get it. Like, even at Helen Caldecott's seminar, they did not want to talk about Fukushima. They would only talk about nuclear war. Fucking Fukushima is war. Boom, boom, boom. Every single day we're getting the fucking equivalency of how many God knows hydrogen nuclear bombs. I mean, honest to God, it's un incomprehensible the suicidal attitude of the people that are on our planet right now I mean fuck I worked a lot not to be suicidal maybe that's why I'm so pissed off you know I grew up in a really tortured household as a child the first time I thought about suicide I was in third grade I wondered how good it would feel if I was dead because my life was not happy and, you know, I grew up very confused young woman, and I spent many years in therapy to the point where I actually fucking like living now. And I, you know, don't equate myself to being a human being if I have a partner or not a partner. I'm like a complete whole human being on my own who loves life. I love my kids. I love my grandkids. I love all the people that I come into contact with. I love my clients. The fact is, every time I meet people, my heart grows. I'm like the Grinch. My heart grows two and a half times. And these fucking people want to kill our planet. They're not even freaked out about no baby orcas. 
They're not freaked out about 15,000 dead seals. They're willing to believe the bullshit that the University of Oregon is spewing out. I'm reading this book and I'm telling you what, guys, I'm, I am like split nails here. And I don't know how anybody who listens to me, I don't know if you guys just have decided to keep your trap shut with the people around you, but I can't. I mean, I run into two people who say they're anti-nuclear in two weeks. Thaston Ricklin, who's a Marshallese, and this guy named Tim, who's a truck salesman who lives here in Eugene that Kevin turned me on to. He connected with Kevin and me and him met. Do you know both those guys still eat fish? They still eat tuna. Both of them. A hundred percent of the tuna is contaminated with radioactivity. And what do they think? Okay, I get it. Tim's an old fart. He's about my age. I think he said he was like 53 or something. His wife has her kids, and they're, they're not in reproductive lives. So if you want to get cancer and you're an old fart, who gives a crap? But for a young man like Thaston, who is predicated to cancer and other genetic mutations, to continue to eat fish is beyond my fucking comprehension. So I... I've asked many times for ideas and participation in my videos. People make their comments, but I think people just don't hear. They don't listen. Maybe that's the value of the YouTube because we get to just talk and emote and there's no exchange. I personally like the exchange. I don't mind constructive criticism. I want to hear ideas. You know, that's what I miss the most out of Dana being gone up in dumb fuck Egypt up there is that we used to look forward every night at 6 o'clock. We'd all have like this gang of people who would communicate and get to know each other on the Internet chat while Dana was talking to us. And it was like a, a way for the Internet community, the anti-nuke community, to connect. I mean, we need community because the fucking world out there, they don't give a crap. It's, it's incomprehensible. And it's getting more and more bizarre. And... You know, like, I feel like we're living in the Warsaw Ghetto. I swear to God, they're going to circle the fucking wagons around us and squeeze us in. And, I mean, they're already using the children who have cancer for television ads, which I find fucking insulting. I go berserk. You know, the Cancer Society doesn't fucking call me anymore. I have chewed those bastards out. I don't want anything to do with them. I don't believe in them. I don't like the AMA. I think America has the most medically, minimally educated doctor. Chuck, Oregon's physicians for responsibility telling me that, oh, the ocean's too big, don't worry about it. But, I, you know, we've got big news going on right now. Big news. Fukushima's fucking falling apart. I don't know if any of you were looking at the news feeds, but guess what? Like off on the right hand side of the new feeds, something's fucking going on that they're not telling us about. And, you know, obviously there's something going on that they're not telling us about, but it's fucking bad. Really bad. And, you know, we're about to get these big CMEs. The fucking economy's about to fall apart. They didn't tell us that China and Russia sided up and ditched the dollar. That's going to kill us. And what about Blackwater being bought by Monsanto? I swear to God, you guys, it's like crazy land. Anyways, I'm going to end here, but I just, I don't know how you guys feel, but I just had to vent a little bit because I'm reading this book and I can just barely contain myself. So we're, I'm going to have a protest on the steps of the Capitol building on 311.15 in Salem, Oregon. Um, I'm going to also join up with Rick Gold's group at the Japanese consulate. Mimi German is holding something together at the Pioneer Park. I don't know the details, but I've heard that she's doing that. There's going to be an or you know, lots of people all around the country are doing something on 311.15. And if there's nothing going on in your town, wherever it is that you live, do something. Even if it means holding a sign up at Capitol, at your uh, city hall or the, your Capitol building. We need masses of people in the street to start bucking the system because they're not going to get their heads together and start figuring out that they're idiots. And if they realize they were idiots, they're not going to admit it. 
So we've got to push them. And we've got to push them instead of letting them us push us fucking back until they drown us in the fucking pool of radioactive oceans. Uh, you know, we have to... It is up to us, you guys, to get off of our asses, not just, as Kevin calls it, keyboard activism. That's great, but guess what? We need people out in the streets, and we need to. they need to start calling us radicals or whatever the fuck they're going to call us because we have the truth on our side. It's, it's incomprehensible. Three nuclear meltdowns completely going berserk in Japan, and nobody's doing jack shit about it. And most Americans know nothing about it, and they're like, oh, yeah, I know, that's really bad. Don't tell me about it. I'd rather, yeah, you think the fish is really bad? I'd rather not know. Really? It's that bad? What do you think? It, maybe I won't be the one. You know what? Everyone's going to be the one. But we can't, just because it's bad doesn't mean we have to just allow them to keep doing it. We need to demand they stop. Stop, 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 stop nuclear, stop. Stop it. Just stop. Cease and desist. Just stop. And you know what? You guys haven't really seen me mad yet. <laughs> so I'm going to go. Ciao, you guys. Put your courage feet on. Talk to you again. Bye.